the top ranked Caribbean team breezed through the opening round against the Dominican Republic, Angola, and St. Vincent. Head coach Ralston Williams is expecting a tougher road ahead as everyone will be bringing their best to try and dethrone the number one side. Williams says as long as they remain disciplined, he sees no reason why the Banner boys cannot progress. Very optimistic about chances in Trinidad. Um, we have respect for all the teams. But we know the quality what we have, that we have in our team. and We are expecting um, to have a very good tournament to, um, over there in Trinidad. There were three additions to the team, including English-based Jorin John of New Eton FC and Zane Francis Angol, who plays for Motherwell in the Scottish Premier League. Francis Angol says after missing the first leg, he's delighted to be in the squad this time around. Good to be able to be involved this time. Last time, obviously, I was uh, out with an injury, but I'm feeling good now. Back to full fitness, so yeah, looking forward to the games. Hopefully a solid defensive performance and an attacking side to the game as well, which I'll forward to my game lately, so yeah. The Antiguans will be up against host TNT, St. Lucia and Dominican Republic, who they defeated 2-1 in round one. They will open against St. Lucia on Wednesday at the Otto Bolden Stadium, then two days later against the Dominicans. The Burner Boys will face TNT in their last match on Sunday. The top two teams will advance to the final round scheduled for Jamaica from November 10 to 17. Terry Andrew, ABS Sports.